All right, folks. Well, we have not yet received any update about our Ket Intel quest. So let's head out into the Great Unknown and find the Archon's ship. Been a while since we've done part of the main quest. Definitely looking forward to it. Hunting the Archon. And now we know a little more about him too, so that's kind of uh, empowering I guess. Gives us a psychological advantage. Ryder, we're getting a lot of Ketcom chatter. Keep us stealth, Calo. No sense picking a fight just yet. Wonder if we should like scan the system first. Probably won't find anything good, but let's scan one or two planets just in case. Wonder if there's anything important here, or if this is just a system where he happens to have his ship parked. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. A positioning beacon from the Solarian Arc. Guess that doesn't give us an update about the Arc, though. Wonder if that Arc will be a part of the uh, main quest. That'd be pretty cool. Would explain what they were saving it for. It's over here. Two planets. Or a planet moon system like Pluto and Charon. Nothing here? Guess not. It's unusual. I guess it would have told me that though, there was no exclamation point. Alright, without any further ado, here we go. There she is. And is that an arc? Aha! It looks like it is the Slarian arc. That explains the satellite. Interesting that there's only one ship there. You would have thought, being their flagship, it would be traveling with a, a significant portion of the fleet. Those must be boarding tubes. Well, let's not waste any time. Archon's flagship, but I'm really looking at the uh, arc there. Ship name Varican. Crew complement unknown. Cat flagship heavy armaments detected. Arc Parchero in proximity. <laughs> Note: The Archon's flagship Varican appears to be operating normally and is unaware of the Tempest presence. However, the Solarian vessel Arc Parchero has been captured and is tethered to the Cat ship. Sensors show no signs of damage to the Arc. Its power levels are on standby. So, have they already taken control and have been for a long time? We've probably seen the Ket flagship before. I assume that's the same ship he was on the last couple times we encountered the Archon. So that must mean he only found it recently. But if that's the case, what has it been doing all this time? And will that be explained, or will it just be written off as, oh, trouble with the Ket? I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, this should be a good squad. Let's go. It's true then. We found the Solarian Ark. Last one. Sam Tactical. It looks like the Archon captured it. The ships are tethered. What's the plan? I'm working on it. Sam, connect me to the Moshai. On screen. Ryder, it's good to see you again. We've located the Archon's ship. It's more complicated than we thought, so I wanted to make sure we knew what we were looking for. It was a large remnant relic depicting Meridian. It's in his private chamber, his sanctum, he called it. He's um, very proud of that relic. Almost forgot why we were here. Probably should have reread the quest first. Um, you know, 
now that we found all the arcs, I kind of would be okay if they had left one of the arcs as a mystery. Like, nobody ever found it. And even for, like, many, many games, nobody ever knew what happened to it. Because it seems like in endeavors like this, that always is the case. There's always something mysterious that just disappears and nobody ever knows what happened to it. But, um... I guess that wouldn't have made for a very exciting game. That's what we needed. I appreciate it. And I appreciate what you're doing for all of us. But be careful. I've seen the Archon's cruelty. I hope you don't. That makes two of us. Thank you for your help, Moshai. Of course. I wish you well. Okay, we play this right. Not only do we get away with the relic, we save the Solarians. I say we get onto the Ark, assess the situation, then sneak onto the catch ship through the tether. A feasible approach. Currently, Ark Pachero is on standby. Only its stasis facilities are online. What about the Solarians? Unknown. You heard the Moshai. The Archon's capable of anything. See, does this mean respect is in... Like, I assume this means that we are respect his prowess and are not going to take him lightly. But just in case, I don't want to seem like he's a fitting opponent or anything. He's not. He's a, a monster. So let's go with this one. If he's done anything to those Solarians, he'll find out what we can do. Ryder? Whatever you need. Those are my people. We'll get them back. <laughs> now let's make this one count. <laughs> Excuse me? Kind of ruined the moment there. Ten All right. In. So far, no unusual activity from the catch ship. Let's hope it stays that way. Huh. Message from the captain. Urgent. Alien vessels have been detected within the system. Effective immediately, all external communications are restricted to avoid revealing Arc Parchero's position. The unknown celestial phenomenon continues to disrupt long-range scans. Positions of the Nexus, Arc Hyperion, Arc Lucenia, and Arc Natanis remain unknown. Wasn't somebody about to say something? I guess not. Accessing Arc Pachero's internal systems. A moment. Additional data encryption has been added. That's not regulation. Did the Solarians do that? It appears so. It's a cryptography key associated with their intelligence services. Probably a good idea. I have unlocked it. Make sure the cat don't find out anything they're not supposed to. At present, Arc Parchero has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Location of Nexus is unknown. This is Captain Hager of Arc Parchero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Zebon Reka. Situation urgent. Well, there we go. Um. We need to find them. Overriding bulkhead door. Can I hear the other logs? The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. This is Captain Hager of Arc Pichero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Zebon Reka. Situation urgent. So I guess it's just the three options, just like we had, but the Solarian version. And then in this case, he encoded his message his distress signal on top of them. Alright, let's get to it then, shall we? Time's a wasting. How does the ship look, Sam? Some cat infrastructure has been added, but the arc systems are operational. So it's flight ready? Yes. Right. Good. Are you thinking of? The easiest way to save everyone is to take the whole arc with us. Yep. Easy isn't what I'd call it. If the right Urgent. By agreement of the Ark's senior leadership, cease all defensive operations against the alien vessels. The risk of catastrophic damage to the Ark and colonists is too high. So I guess they didn't put up a fight? They must have been afraid the cat would just blow them sky high. Little did they know the cat need them for their genes. So I feel like that's actually a pretty good reason for alien motivation. Most, um... No signs of a fight. Did the Solarians just give up? Let's hope their Pathfinder can make sense of it. Most sci-fi has really dumb reasons for aliens invading Earth. Like they need slaves, or they need our water, where they wouldn't need slaves. You can build starships, you can build robots, and they don't need water because there's water everywhere in the solar system. I think I've probably been over this before, at least in one of my Let's Plays. But our genes, that might be something that would only be uh, 
available by finding other species and could be of potential interest to advanced aliens. So I'll buy that. This colonist is deceased. The medical terminal may provide Thank you, more Sam. information. What do their records say about the Solarian, Sam? He is identified as Pathfinder Seven Raker. Wow. So we found him then. That was surprisingly easy. Um, well, I guess it's true then. None of the original Pathfinders made it. Another Pathfinder down. We can't keep losing good people. Agreed. However, initiative records indicate Pathfinder Raker is female. This patient is male. What? Then who is this really? I have his DNA signature from your scan. Locate a sequencer to confirm his identity. So wait, how do we know it's him? The record said so? Or her? So I guess she pretended to be the Pathfinder in order to hide the real Pathfinder? That's a little more exciting. We already read that one. The DNA of the deceased Solarian matches colonist Jax Arlen. So they switched them, trying to hide their Pathfinder. Smart. Let's check this colonist's stasis pod, see if anyone's there. I've marked the pod row. Typical Solarians, all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Smart, though. Maybe they'll have the one Pathfinder to survive, then. I really think one of them should survive. It would be really kind of weird and coincidental if all four Pathfinders had to be replaced. Sure are a lot of pods gone. I'd like to think you got away before the cat showed up. The Solarian captain was too worried for that. Yeah. I'm gonna give away their position. It was a big risk and it didn't pay off, but it may have still been the smart choice. This isn't Jax Arlen's pod. This one? This isn't the pod we're looking for. <laughs> well, it has a marker on it. This is the deceased Solarian's pod, yet I detect a female Solarian inside. I think we found their Pathfinder. Let's get her out. Oh, the Pathfinder's female. Stasis controls to revive her. And the decoy was male. Uh, I get it. Hey there, take it slow. No need. I'm fine. Solarian stasis recovery is almost immediate. Who are you? Ryder. Pathfinder for the Human Ark. Where's Alec? He... didn't make it. Madness. Stasis was a mistake. I should never have agreed to it. Wasn't really another option, though. And hey, it worked. You're alive. It must be really disorienting for her, though. Like, I woke up and things were already underway and a lot had happened that I had missed. But just imagine her waking up and we're already this far in. What's bothering you? A leader leads. She doesn't go to sleep. A hostile species, an armada, set upon us. Our captain saw no choice but surrender. Said we'd live to fight another day. He convinced me to hide in the general population and to dismantle my SAM so we wouldn't fall into enemy hands. But we're still in their grasp, I see. Not for long. We're heading into the cat vessel to gather intelligence. Wake up a flight crew and ready the Ark for escape. On my signal. That'll be no trouble. And then I'll work on freeing the Ark, so you can focus on your objective. Sounds good. Don't really love the idea of leaving her on her own, because that opens up potential for something bad to happen. But we haven't met any other interesting Solarians so far, which is good news, because that means there'd be nobody character-wise, story-wise, to replace her. Do what you can, but stay quiet. We don't want to alert the enemy. Yes, yes, of course. I'm keying you into our comms. 
We'll stay in touch. Hello, Pathfinder Raker. Ah, a Sam in my head again. I'm back in the game. We'll be ready, Ryder. We'll have to rebuild her, Sam, if we all make it through this. Tempest, we're in the tether. Going across to the catch ship now. That was easy. So far, there are no indications they're aware of your presence. Good luck, Pathfinder. I was kind of hoping for a little more stuff to do in the uh, arc. Okay, we keep this quick and quiet, and they'll never notice. And like going to the tether, that would have been cool. But all right, here now. Also, before I forget, their armor is really weird. There's like a giant handle on the front of the Salarian armor. I don't know who designed that thing. Doesn't seem very practical. Um, I think they noticed. About to just say that. I think they know we're here. We walked right into that one. <laughs> Don't let them get the high ground. Too late for that. Sorry, Drek. Going back now. Keep it up. There's more coming in upstairs. Yep. Let's go cut them off. They threw us one hell of a welcome party. Do you realize you're shooting the wall? Oh, uh, those guys. Squishy though. View. Accessing the ship's systems now. I have located the Archon's private chamber. Is the Archon in his quarters? That information is not accessible. Only the room's location. What's their security situation look like? An alert was issued, but I have countermanded it. The delay is only temporary. Right. We need to hurry. The Moshe said the relic would be in his chamber. Let's get there. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if the Archon was not here somewhere. I thought you were on the Ark. Too many of our people are missing. If we don't find them now, we never will. This is Hadra, captain of our Ark. We'll focus on the rescue while you push ahead. A secondary route is available, marking nav point. We'll help you get on your way. Interesting helmets. Let's move. But I'm a history teacher. I don't know how to fight. And all I've ever done is pilot ships. That doesn't mean I just roll over and die. Right, uh, if we you can't access do the this. terminal, I can override Captain the door. Captain Hager is right. Our people need us. We have to answer the call. I used to repair FTL drives on Sir Cash. I could probably rig up some surprises for the cat. Good. We have to be clever, improvise, and stick to the shadows. Good luck. We'll try this way to look for our people. I'm sorry we can't help you. But we have our own mission. Good luck, Pathfinder. You yes, too, Pathfinder. Same to you. Okay, Sam. The relic. Still got a lead on it? Marking the route to the Archon's chamber. You may proceed. If only it were that easy. Three of us against a ship full of cat. Oh, we'll be fine. Four of us. I count double. <laughs> <laughs> I already feel bad for the cat. Here we go. Good. They haven't noticed us yet. Give it a minute. They have now. Head down and push forward. Where are we trying to go? The exit is on the far side of the room. And a whole lot of kit between us. Great. I hit these guys. This will get worse before it gets better. So should we just keep moving? Yeah, the great. A dropship on a starship? Is that the Archon I hear? We have a dropship! 
Cheating. Hey, you! That all you got? Damn it. At least their grenades don't spawn creatures. Infinite reinforcements, then. I appreciate that. Reiner, this is Pathfinder Rika. I assume those alarms are because of you? Yeah, I had a little altercation. And you? Undetected so far. Still Good. looking for our people. Rika out. Well, hopefully, by making a lot of noise, we'll draw the cat to us and leave them free and clear. Found the Salarians? Interesting that we found a scientist. It's empty. This part belonged to Yos Enrix, a member of the Salarian leadership. Hmm. So where are they? I kind of don't want to meet that person because then they're probably going to be the next Pathfinder. Still missing a lot of pods. Where are the rest of the Salarians? That's a good question. Hopefully they haven't been ascended already. Look at that. Those look like guns out there. Confirmed. The offensive armaments of a highly capable warship. All of them pointed at the Solarian Ark. That's going to be a problem. Can we turn them off? The route continues on the far side of the room. I feel like we should like sabotage them while we're here. This is the current firing solution on our Pachero. The catcher targeting the stasis holds midship. That'll be Great. sliced in two. At least it's quiet here. So I guess we can't change that then? That sucks. This ship's about one thing. Making everyone else's life miserable. They can't either enslave you or kill you. Nothing else. Wow, this room looks like it's all about the killing. It is a warship. Wonder what he's saying. Uh -oh. Shit, the door just locked. No way, that's an accident. Look sharp. <laughs> there they are. It's an Wouldn't worry about our looks at the moment. Besides, we always look sharp. Console just says survive the ambush. All right, I can do that. This is looking ugly. We're in trouble here. No, we're not. We're fine. Yes, we can. Less pessimism. We've got your back. Up top, it's the Solarian. The fight isn't over yet. Rika, we'll take whatever help you can give. See, I thought they might come to the rescue. I didn't think it'd be this soon, though. Don't die for us, we'll be fine. Captain Hager, we need suppressing fire in your 11 o'clock. I'm on it. I got one. Not a bad shot for a history teacher. It's working. The Solarians are making. Take it from here. You saved our ass. Jesus, 
wounded, not dead. More than I can say for the cat. Yeah, I need to get some cover. Not in a good spot. Provide encouragement. I'm afraid the only option is brute force. Luckily, we excel at brute force. Oh, an ascendant. They might have been here a while, because I thought I saw one of their things, but I assumed it was from somebody else. Must be one of the Archon's lieutenants. Luckily, we're getting good at fighting them. I think they're the only one left. Ooh. Went right into that. Alright, got some good shots in there. I do like that it seems as if the Ascendants, when their shields go down, it's for a certain amount of time. And you have that amount of time to get them down. And less about just getting down a third of their health and they put it back up again. That makes it a little more fun and more rewarding for doing the most DPS you can during those few seconds. I could use some more ammo. Watch out. Get up close and personal. Oh, he put a shield up. Didn't help him though. Located a new path to the Archon's chamber. Good job, Sam. My personal opinion, though, I think we would be okay even without Salarians, but still nice of them to drop in. I'm glad everybody's okay. Whole ship is probably looking for us. Yep. Selden's wounds were fatal. I'm sorry. He was brave. I can't access this terminal. It's not working. Ryder, can Sam open this door for us? <laughs> What's behind it, though? A moment while I override security. Rekha, we've got a big problem. Did you see those guns back there? I know. They'll destroy the Ark before we can power up the engines. Unless... If you've got an idea, let's hear it. Venril here used to repair FDL drives on private cruisers. Venril, an EMP device? It might work. If we rig one to detonate near those guns, they'd lose power. And the Ark would be out of harm's way. What about your missing people? I'll keep looking. Captain Hadrian and Venril will focus on the EMP. Does sound risky leaving them there without reinforcements and security, but... I guess, uh... Don't have much of a choice. If we want to meet all our objectives, we have to split up. A lot of things have to go right for this to work. That's when Solarians are at our best. The door is now open. Well, now's the time to prove it. Over the radio. In the meantime, we've got a relic to find. <laughs> Sam? Marking the route to the Archon's chambers. Why are we still keeping our voices low? We're sneaking. Sorry, give me one second here. Old habits die hard. Sorry, I missed that. I wanted to uh, close the window before I kept getting notifications. Alright, nobody here. Don't really have time to look around. Going to screw up. If we don't get the Ark out of here, how many Solarians are left in Andromeda? Not nope. enough. The whole species is at risk. They really, know that few? what the Genophage felt like. <laughs> Tell, uh, uh -oh. doing it again. Sam? There is an alternate route. Overriding the door now. 
Couldn't you just override the door on the main route? Nope. <laughs> the cat are hardening their security. Try scanning the access panel. The door is voice activated. I can attempt to modulate your vocal cords to approximate cat intonation. Okay. <laughs> the system is asking for your authorization. How do you wish to respond? Access denied. Intruders have been spotted on the ship. We need to secure this area. <laughs> Access granted. Really? I'm surprised that worked. I think they probably know it's me and are ready for an ambush. Didn't realize my health was in full. Well, we're off the beaten path now. Looks like a lab. Hate to think what they do around here. Well, they won't be doing it for much longer. So what are they up to? Nothing good from the look. Notable findings for further study. High metabolic rate, sleep requirements very low, accelerated mental acuity and memory functions. Weaknesses short-lived, muscle strength lacking. Same thing their colleagues discovered back on Vold. Guess a few of them got away. That's cool that they run away though. Oh. Didn't really help. Come on, scientists. Where are you? We've got company! Oh, they got back up. Ah, oh, fail. Be easier if the cat just handed the relic over. Yeah. Get your hopes up. It's true. War is a tremendous waste of resources. But I guess the game wouldn't be fun otherwise. That didn't help any. Uh, I think we just found all the missing stasis pods. Uh, Maybe the Solarians. The pod is empty. Damn. Also empty. They're all empty. What's going on here? They removed them. But for what? I don't think I want to know, and yet I also do. He died after the operation. Ouch. These poor bastards were alive when it happened. Our animals to them. Genetic material to be hard. Oh, somebody's still alive in there. Hey, you! I'm gonna personally find you and kill you for this! Can I not get inside? Ah, oh, damn it. That's annoying. Bastard! You can't! Current testing population is depleted. Specimens expire quickly when subject to examination. Uh, so they're using them all to test. Someone's going to pay for this. Got to pay right now. You bastards! We're not lab animals. You tell them. Is this it? Rider, caution. Too late. Some kind of uh, immobilizing field. It's useless to struggle. Uh, 
I've been in this forsaken cluster for decades, surrounded by amoeba. Then you arrive, a human able to do the unthinkable. You even evaded me. Such an unlikely rival it was almost invigorating to have one. And yet, it's a fitting end. What are you going to do with me? Whatever I please. Hey, try that with me. That's not good. A first song. The testing begins now. I will learn your secrets soon enough. Report. Await my arrival. Save your strength, human. Sounds like Rick has got trouble. We have her beat. Sam, what can you tell me? I'm sensing a biological transmitter in your bloodstream now. Attempting to neutralize it. Okay, that's priority two for sure. Any idea how to break out of this? <laughs> the containment fields only interact with living matter. If you expire, the field around you will extinguish <laughs> until manually reset. As you know, my access to your physiology allows me to enhance your vital signals when required. I can also do the opposite. Fake kill me or real kill me? This could be dangerous, but it does make sense. Um, I was going to say a few things. One was that I thought he was taking my blood, not putting something in me. In which case, I don't think he would have really got much, because it's not my blood that makes me special. It's Sam. And that's what allows Ryder to talk to the Remnant technology. But uh, I guess the Archon has other plans. I'm also surprised that, I guess, biotics can't work when I'm in this field. That always seemed to me to be one of the great benefits to being like a magic user or a biotic user in this case is that in these situations where you don't have your weapons and can't even move you still have something to fall back upon but in games that very rarely tends to be the case they usually just say nope can't use your magic either here that was one of the cool things about that one dragon age quest where you got everything taken away you could still be pretty powerful if you were a mage but anyway let's continue shall we Whoa, 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 kind of don't want to die today, Sam. After stopping your heart, I would attempt to resuscitate, of course. Attempt. Are there any other options? None that I can determine. All right, let's do it. Ryder, you're crazy. You better come back. Stopping your heart. Now. This is gonna suck. Sam! Stimulating the cardiovascular core. Zero activity. Stimulating the cardiovascular core. What was that? So, uh... So far this game hasn't really been too much about, like, the internal mind of Ryder. Like, there's not really been a lot of setup for a big twist or something. I guess a little bit with Sam and his mom and dad and all. And maybe the sister or Sarah will play a role, but... I feel like that could have been part of something greater. But what that might be? No idea. <sighs> That's twice now I've come back from the dead. Can't say the experience is improving. What was the first time? I believe it is preferable to the alternative. Oh. You two look comfortable. No. Down. Now. Yeah, don't waste time. Let's find a way out of this cage, huh? All right. Well, I like the way we escape. That actually makes uh corridor connecting to this room. Makes sense. Okay. Must be a way to access it. I'll look for it. Does seem like something useful intel here. Might want to poke around while we can. That the archon would not have expected. 
But as much Get as I hate. Uh oh. Doesn't sound good. So Archon, do you hear me? Now you have two pathfinders to deal with, and we're not impressed with your security. Rekha, come in. What's going on? A little diversion. Captain Hager and Venro need time to set up the EMP. I'll be in touch. Are we sure she is in part Krogan? <laughs> you never know. All right, well, like I was trying to say before, I hate to end these on a cliffhanger, but I think uh, we've reached our time limit for this episode, so I'm going to cut things here. When we come back, we will continue this exciting mission and uh, hopefully get off this ship and save the day. See you all then.